Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, we are going to be installing the LED headlight bulbs on my 2013 Hyundai Veloster Turbo. And let me show you what they look like right now. Let's start the car. Alright, so this is how it looks like. It's gonna be harder to see just because it's not nighttime. So that is how it looks like right now. And it's gonna look a little different after we install the bulbs. All right, so I'm gonna start by taking off the bumper. All right guys, so we got the bumper off and we are gonna start taking the headlight off. And there are a lot of bolts to take off, but see this part right here, how it is kind of off from this. That is what I'm talking about of why I need that quick release kit. But today we are just doing the headlights. And that is where my blow-off valve is. Alright guys, so we finished one headlight. And that's because we ran into a bit of a problem. Um, this part right over here did not fit into the little slot that you had to fit it into. So we had to tweak it a little bit. That's why the other headlight is not done. But this one is done, and this is the final product, which is way better than that one. And I think it looks great. But yeah, I did the fog lights. I did change those out too. But yeah, we will come back the next day tomorrow to finish it up, and we will be right there. Alright guys, it is the next day and we are going to put on the second bulb on the driver's side. Let's get started. So, I'm going to try to do something easier and just take this side of the bumper off and leave it hanging a little so that I don't have to take the whole thing off because that did take a while. So as you can tell, I decided to take the whole bumper off just because it's so much easier to take off the headlight. And to take off the headlight is that bolt right there. See this bolt right here? And then there's one right here. But there's also one clip. And that is how you take off the headlights so much easier without the bumper on. All right, so we have the headlight out. It's over here, and you want to take this one off and just twist it. Pops right off, just like that. And then, now, you twist this one off. This is the stock bulb. And just twist it out just like that. And there it is stock bulb. I'm gonna have to unscrew these three bolts so I can take this part off and then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do in a bit. So see how I popped this off of there and then I had to take out one of the wires so that it can reach. I'll show you. So I have to connect the yellow wire with the plus that was on here and then I taped it up to see how the warning cancelers are. They, this part was way too big for 
the plug in so that's why I broke off that little black piece and I had to tape it up so that it stays in one spot let's see if the light turns on as you can see the light is on and it's a good thing we tested before because if it wasn't on then we could switch it and see what's up but good thing it's on so. now we have to stabilize the bulb so guys now I'm trying to grind this piece that I unscrewed off and I'm trying to grind it so this part right here this round circle fits through there and I am grinding it so see how I put this piece on to that piece and now we're just gonna screw it on to here because unfortunately it did not work out as planned they say that as it comes it won't they say that when it comes in the box you don't have to make any modifications to it but this is what held the piece in place for the old one like that so we had to make something up to to keep the bulb in place and it's a little too long if we just push it in there so that's what I had to do to keep the bulb in place for it to not wiggle around so now you just screw those bolts on and put the cover back on and then you are all set and you just put everything back together and that is the headlight process for just bulbs but there are other bulbs that you can essentially change out I just wanted to do the headlights Alright guys, are you guys ready for the reveal of the final product? That looks so nice, so much better. The reason I'm so excited is because this is the first car that I have with LED headlights and I think that's pretty cool because my Mustang was was really old, it was an 04 so it didn't come with the LED lights. But yeah, that's this didn't come with LED lights either and I was surprised why it didn't come out with LED lights but now I have them. I wish I could show you guys at night, and I honestly haven't seen it at night either yet, but that is it for the install. It's pretty simple, um, but we did have a few issues on keeping the bulb steady and everything fitting right. Um, I really don't like when products come, and they say that it's 
you don't have to make any mods to it. It's an easy, easy replacement. But it honestly wasn't just because they didn't even give us the right tools to, not tools, but they didn't give the little adapter like this thing for it to work. So yeah. Yeah, so in one of my next videos, I will show you guys how it looks at night. And we will be doing a quick release kit install for to drill in two holes right here and then two holes right here. And it's going to be pretty complicated to do, but we will get it done. And then we will eventually put on the six speed horns that go underneath here underneath the grill and those will be loud and it'll look cool too please if you guys haven't yet click that subscribe button i really appreciate it if you do and, and i hope you guys enjoyed the video i also want to hear from you guys about what other videos you want me to do it's not i don't want to just be the person who's just doing installs but i want to do like cool videos whatever you guys want so yeah, just let me know down in the comments below. So that is it for today's video. I'm Excessive2. Bye.